You know, I was sitting here thinking, three years can change your life. Literally three years. I'm about to give you guys another thesis. All right, you're a regular guy or girl. You, you have a job. You don't have any additional revenue streams. You don't have a small business. You have nothing. And if you, like, let's say you're 25. And uh, if you say by the time I am 28, I will have a business. See, if you're going to do something in a three-year window, that gives you plenty of time. But trying to do something in these ridiculously compressed windows of three months, few weeks, um, that right there is very, very hard. And a lot of the content on YouTube that is trying to sell you products and services is predicated on you generating money very fast. You creating an income stream literally overnight. Now, here's the thing. Once again, this channel used to be about hustling. And I have stepped back from hustling because there's a lot of how to hustle channels, how to set up a hustle. And what I wanna do is start your three-year clock ticking. I want you to be practical. I want you to be realistic. I want you to have some patience because if you like, let's say you're 33. I started on this entrepreneur journey when I was 30. Well, actually it kind of started at 34. Started at 34. I made a lot of changes at the age of 32, but the entrepreneur thing did not start until I was 34. And I had a lot of success with my first business because my first business was in alignment to something I was already doing. And that's why I was successful. And one of the things that I want to tell you guys is if you get practical, if you get systematic, if you write down your goals, if you work on your goals, if you build and build and build, you can do some amazing things in three years. You can do a lot of amazing things in three years. You can literally transform your life in three years, but one year is not enough time. A couple of months, clearly not enough time. So what we want to do is position ourselves where we can win. When I came to YouTube, I had a lot of business education and training and practical examinations from conducting a thesis of if I have a product to sell and I'm going to put it on eBay, I'm going to put it on Amazon, I'm going to put it on uh, Craigslist, will I sell that product? And this is a thesis that was confirmed over and over and over and over and over again. So this gave me confidence in selling stuff. This gave me a great amount of um, energy, faith, in confidence because my thesis had been tested and it had been proven to be correct. And here's one of the things, a lot of you first time entrepreneurs, you've never had a business before, you're full of wonder, you're full of uncertainty, you're full of fear, which is normal. That just makes you a normal person. That's just normal to have these feelings because you're gonna be trying to do something that you have never done before. 
And that's going to be a little scary. It's going to be a little uh, crazy. It's going to be a little bit over the top. But what I want you guys to understand, and I don't know if anyone's ever tell, told you this before, but you are beyond powerful. The things that you're capable of doing will literally blow your mind once you get them accomplished. Because right now you are you 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 you're here, and you want to go there, and that journey is going to take some time. Once again, go to the world's richest people, billionaires. You'll see that the majority of them are old. It even took them time to become billionaires. So once again, I want to put this in your mind that it's going to take you three years. You need to work hard. You need to start today. You need to get going. But you can do it if you take it step by step and you're not trying to have one of these overnight success stories or you're trying to um, go ahead and literally create this energy without actually doing anything. Because this, this is a big thing. Uh, I've seen a lot of stuff on social media where people have been in business for five or 10 years before they even got to social media and they blew up because they had been in business. So once again, we're gonna be talking about how to be in business, how to set up businesses. So. I want you to sit down after watching this video and I want you to actually create a goal. Like I'm going to have a business three years from today. That's that's just right there on the sheet of paper. I'm going to have a business three years from today. And then you're going to create a systematic program to make that goal a reality because literally what you can do in three years can be life-changing. What you can do in three years can set up your family forever, forever. If you take these three years and you build a business, the year, year four through 20, it's gonna be amazing. You know, like, um, I, I, I would share a little story with you because there's levels to success. When I first moved in this neighborhood, I went to Lifetime Gym, which is a fancy gym. And my first visit there, I felt uncomfortable because I was around these people who dropped two grand for workout clothes. It was a different conversation. It was a different prototype. It was a different avatar. And it was radically different from what I was used to. So I felt uncomfortable. I felt like a fish out of water and I actually ended my gym membership. Then about three years later, after I had been in the neighborhood, after I've experienced some more success, I went back to that gym and I didn't feel uncomfortable. So that meant that I, as a person, had grew in those three years and I was building and was setting up and creating a different me. Because th this is one of the things that you guys have got to understand. You're not going to get where you want to go by being who you are today. Let me say this again. You're not going to get where you want to go by being who you are today. You got to change. You got to level up. You got to make these changes in who you are. Because like I've been on this journey a long, long time. I've been on this journey 20 years. I've officially worked for myself longer than I've ever had any job. That happened a few years ago. And it's a journey. It is a mental journey. It is a physical journey for some of you. And it is a financial journey. But it must be mental first. It must be mental first. You've got to see yourself making 100K a year. Then go out and do it. Then you got to see yourself making 200K a year. Then go out and do it. Then you got to see yourself making 300K a year. Then go out and do it. Then you got to see yourself making half a million a year. Then go out and do it. Because each time you set a goal and then you go out and do it, 
you prove your thesis correct and your confidence level just keeps going up and up and up and up and you start doing bigger and better things. But I want you to really think, what are you gonna do in the next three years? What are you working on? What are you building? What are you creating? And you get to see me do a lot of crazy, I got plans for the next three years. I have a five-year plan, I have a 10-year plan. Like I, I put it out here on record, in four years it is my intention to buy an apartment complex. 10, 15 million. So I got to have 3 million to put down. But see, here's the thing. Since I've been in business and I know I really need 6 million. And you're like, what? Well, to put 3 million down on the apartment to get financing, because I got to put 25% down. So 10 million, 2.5, let's say I get a 15 million, I'm gonna need 3.5 million. So I'm gonna need really six to seven million. Now, why are you saying that? Because you never want to spend all of your money. We're not gamblers here. We don't roll the dice. So I want to put 3.5 million down and still have 3.5 million available for other opportunities. Or other contingencies. You never, never want to spend all your money. You'll never want to roll the dice like that unless it is 100% sure and guaranteed. So for me to let that two to three million go, I need to have millions saved up cash money. Now, I'm giving you a lesson because like a video that I put up a few days ago talking about real millionaires pay cash because there's a a lot of people out here who are like, well, even billionaires are financing. Well, essentially what is happening is you're finding people who don't have enough cash to do what they want to do. So they're financing, not because they want they they, they want to. They're not financing because they want to. They're financing because they have to. There's a big difference. Like you get married to someone because you want to marry them. You don't have to marry them. You want to marry them. And these folks are financing stuff like I've seen it and I have poked fun at it because my personal opinion is if you're making six figures, you, you have no business financing a car. Maybe a year top, like, you know, you go out and buy a brand new Honda, you put $10,000 down and you pay that other 20 some thousand over that year. Okay, I can, I can kind of live with that because you're getting it paid off really quickly but around here, we're not financing cars. And I, I think it is downright preposterous for you to be, quote, a millionaire financing a car. This is not to be confused with leasing a car in your business name with business credit, which most businesses don't have business credit like that. That's a different, you know, because a lot of people are like, hey, we're financing this with business credit. Really? Who? Who? Do you have enough business credit where you can go to Porsche, BMW, Mercedes Benz to their business credit division and say, hey, here are my financials. Go ahead and give me this car. Most people don't have that. I, I, like I said, I am deep in the business world. I know what I'm talking about. And if you're telling me that you got a one year, two year old business with little or slim revenue and you're financing your car, I'm gonna say that you are absolutely lying. Not fibbing, not exaggerating, but you're lying. Because I know that they're not going to give you, you know, there are some exceptions. I will give you an exception. If you know the game, you can use net 30s to create a paydex and use that paydex to lease a truck, not a car, but a truck, like a Ford 150 to 250, 350. You can do that, but you gotta know what you're doing. You got to know those steps. And this is some stuff that we'll be talking about because there's a whole bunch of things. Because like I am completely doing a pivot of the training and the information that I'm putting out to you guys. And once again, I'm putting this out, letting you know that come April, if you want to be part of the eight week business intensive boot camp, you need to get into the art of holding right now. Corporate citizens, you're good. You will get that. Links below. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.